and welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below as we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hi everybody, this is Avi from AF Math and this is our second part on Earn Value Management which is our second video on project management. So, if you remember, EVM is a project management technique for measuring project performance and progress in an objective manner, according to Wikipedia. By knowing the project performance, the dollar value, and progress at X time, a project manager should know how much money is earned or lost for every dollar spent, and the progress rate of the project compared to the original progress scheduled. So, here is a warm-up question. For the upcoming winter, an umbrella company has agreed to produce 25 umbrellas in 10 days at a price of $500 per unit. After 4 days, the company has finished building only 8 umbrellas, with an actual total cost of $4,200, including overhead taxes etc. What is the status of the project? So I'm hoping by solving this question, this will help you better understand how we actually generate the EV, PV, and AC that we talked about in the previous video. So let's analyze the first part of the question. For the upcoming winter, we said that the company produces 25 umbrellas in 10 days at the price of $500 per unit. So ask yourself, what is the company's total budget? What is the company's daily production rate? And what is the company's daily budget? Which are general questions that basically you should ask yourself before starting any project. So the company's total budget we have 25 units times $500 per unit equals $12,500. The company's daily production rate, which is 25 units over the course of 10 days, equals 2.5 units per day or 5 units every 2 days. The company's daily budget, which is the total budget, over the total amount of days, the total amount of 10 days, is $1,250 per day. So now that we know that, we can put everything we calculated here on the upper right part of the screen and continue to the second part of the question. After four days, the company has finished building only eight umbrellas with a total cost of $4,200, including taxes. What is the total cost so far? And that's $4,200. That's given no calculation needed. What should have been the total cost? Well, we have eight umbrellas that the company finished building times $500 per unit equals $4,000. If everything went according to plan, what should have happened? How many umbrellas should have been produced by now? Well, we know that we're generating 2.5 units per day times four days. 10 units should have been made by now. And what should be the total cost of the umbrellas produced? 10 units times $500 per unit is $5,000. So this is what actually should have occurred. Now remember the key concepts from the first video, the PV, AC, and EV. If you don't remember, here is the slide from the first video giving you each concept and the formulas related to every concept. Now, ask yourself, which one of these numbers are the PV, AC, and EV? Take a minute, pause the video, and maybe sketch it in your paper, and we'll resume in two seconds, and we'll see if you got it correct. So, as you can see in this table, we have days, PV, AC, EV, and we are at day number four, and our PV, our total cost of umbrellas produced is 5,000. Our AC, the total cost so far, what we actually paid is 4,200. And our earned value is $4,000, what should have been the total cost. Now, let's start answering the questions that we answered in the first video. Here on the right side, I've just gathered all of our answers from the first part and the second part. So let's go. The cost variance, our CV, if you remember the equation is EV minus AC, equals a negative $200 which means that the project is over budget by $200. We are losing $200 at the moment. The schedule variance SV is EV minus PV, which is negative $1,000, which means that we are going slower than planned. My cost performance index CPI is EV over AC, which equals 0 0.95, 
which means that for every dollar spent on the project, we are losing five cents in value. And my schedule performance index, the SPI, is EV over PV, which equals 0 0.8, which means the project is going at a pace which is 20% slower than what we originally planned. Now, some old and new key concepts. The percent complete of the project is the units complete over the overall project time. So if it was given that 8 units is complete until now, out of the total 25 units that need to be complete in the future, our project is 32% complete. The FCV, and that's a new concept, the forecasted cost variance is our cost variance over the percent complete of the project which is a negative 200 over 32%, which equals a negative $625, which means that if the project continues at the same rate as it does today, we will finish the project with a deficit of $625. Our FCV, our forecasted schedule variance, is our schedule variance in days, not in dollar value, over the percent complete of the project. Now, we know that our SV in dollar value is $1,000 and the company's daily production is $1,250. So dividing one number by the other over the percent complete of the project will give us 0 0.8 days over 32%, which equals 2.5 days. So let's conclude. Right now, our project is 32% complete. The project is behind schedule by one day our SPI is 0 0.8, but I round it to one day. And we are over budget by $200. If all continues at the same pace, the project will finish 2.5 days behind schedule with a budget deficit of $625. So this was an example of a project from starting to an end that we actually calculate the EV, PV, and AC ourselves and then generate the necessary information from those numbers. And as you can see, our project is going very bad. So stay with us as we continue our series on project management.